Let's kick things off with the front page of the Daily Mail. Dan, Prince Harry taking on the Taliban. Yeah, so it's all kicking off here. The veterans are accusing him of putting uh, his own safety at risk, uh, the safety of the other royals, uh, his ex-comrades, uh, for talking about killing the Taliban. A former national security advisor said he had advised against the, the Duke of Sussex sharing the information. Um, obviously, Harry don't know what goes on in Afghan, stays in Afghan. One thing's for sure, no one's inviting him on a stag do after this, are they? Because <laughs> he's just grassing everyone up. But, look, um, people are getting the hump with some of the, the stuff that he said, you know, the chess piece on the board and um, and it's disrespectful to armed forces. But I think, you know, that he's over there in a war and that's, that's what he's doing. It's just maybe he shouldn't be speaking about it. Yeah, I mean, Nick, what do you think? I mean, lots of veterans have written books about the people they've killed and made a lot of money from it. Is this... They don't tend to give a number, like Ant Middleton and people like that have written great books. He will talk about killing people. They don't tend to give the number. Plus, they're, they're not also princes, are they? they? You know, there's something a bit off about it. And even the, he's managed to, like, get me to sympathise with the Taliban, which is impressive. I mean, even the Taliban think he's an idiot. I actually, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to their book, like, How Harry Victimised Us. You know what I mean? Like a four-part victim <laughs> documentary. But um, it's, incredible, it's incredibly dumb, a stupid thing to do. Obviously, it makes security a huge problem. I mean, what's going to happen at the coronation? Are we going to all pay... You know, you know, for extra security for Harry, I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah, but it's not like he did something really bad, like draw a cartoon. That's true. Mm. He merely killed 25 people and then bragged about it. Yeah, it's just, it's just mad, isn't it? I mean, he's obviously got no-one around him saying anything sensible. He's got Meghan saying, that's a great idea, Harry, and then, like, loads of other well, people... I mm -hmm. thought you were pro-Meghan. I love her. Like, yeah. this whole channel loves Meg. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked was how the Taliban were just sort of slagging him off, just like, yeah, look at you, you went back to your grand's palace, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was uh, not impressive. Well, on to The Sun. And Nick, what is their take? What are they focusing on? Yes, Captain Wales and the missed drugs test. So Harry was allowed to leave his uh, Apache helicopter base because he had urgent business in London, which involved not getting caught in a drugs <laughs> test. I mean, I'm not We've sure. We've all been there. Uh, allegedly, <laughs> uh, that, allegedly, satirically, not sure what we're allowed to say. He ha Let's be very clear. Who knows why he didn't? Why he left the base yeah, when there was, was a drug cocaine test. or mushrooms? We well, don't know yeah, which he, one. He, to, let's be very clear. He has admitted to doing both in cocaine and mushrooms in the past, and he said that mushrooms let him redefine reality, which he's certainly an expert in doing. So that's where he got it. it that's was how the I mushrooms. found myself on the show. Absolutely, oh. and, uh, and and his mate as well got kicked out. His radio oper operator got kicked out for testing positive for cocaine. I'm just going to say that and leave that there. Well, look, Dan, is this the start of the fight back from the firm? This feels like little things are now starting to trickle out and this is their way. That, they're, that they are remaining sort of, a, there's a dignified silence, supposedly. But then we all know that behind the scenes that people are feeding stories. Yeah, I mean, look, he's, there, there's going to be some backlash. I think, I think personally, at this point, you know, missing drug tests. I reckon that's when he actually wrote the book. He, he missed the drug test, ran away, done some coke, wrote the book, because all the stories in this make him, you know, it's the sort of things you hear at four in the morning in someone's kitchen, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit crazy. But I think that, you know, the, um, the royals are, I don't know, what, what, are they kicking off? Are they coming back? Well, I'm sure they're not particularly happy. Someone did... <laughs> I did read someone on Twitter who basically said this could be all, like, his super plan to take the heat off his wife. Like, that's how much he loves his wife. Like, yeah. I'm going to make myself look even worse. The, the, yeah, the deeper conspiracy <laughs> is it's, it's, it's Rishi Sunak's super plan to take the focus off him and his five pledges and the complete collapse of the country. Because, yeah. as you say, the whole front page Rishi is just about who? Harry. I know. Yeah. We've got so many problems in this country and we're just hearing about some ginger guy's book. Well, surely The Telegraph is going to give us a 